Our next lesson is about problem solving. Most of us find it difficult to solve problems, especially in mathematics. But what a problem solving is? Problem solving is an artistic science. There is no single approach in problem solving that works all the time. Each problem is slightly different. George Polya, known as the father of modern problem solving, who did extensive studies and wrote papers and books about problem solving, formulated the four-step approach to problem solving. This Polya's four-step approach to problem solving aims to make individuals a better problem solvers. One of his best book ever published is How to Solve It, which was issued in 1945 where he outlined a strategy for solving problems from any discipline. Here are some framework for uh, problem solving proposed by George Polya. Number one is understanding the problem or that the preparation to solve the problem. The things that we have to understand about the problem are the following. Learn the necessary underlying mathematical concepts. So, kailangan meron kang iniisip na mga principles na pwede nating apply Then, consider the terminology and notation used in the problem. So, dapat alam natin kung ano yung mga hinihingi, hinahanap. We should comprehend the problem tungkol sa ano ba yung problem na yun, ano yung tinatanong, what are the required uh, terms, are there enough information or are there more information needed, what are the unknowns or knowns in the problem. So, if possible, rephrase the problem in your own words and write down specific examples of the condition given in the problem. The next one is the thinking time or devising a plan. In devising a plan, you must start somewhere, so try something, and how are you going to attack the problem? So, paano mo siyang isosolve? Ano mga possible strategies na po pwede mong gawin para masolve ang problem? So, ito yung tinatawag na devising a plan. So here are some useful uh, techniques in solving a problem. Make a list of the known information. Make a list of information that is needed as much as possible. Draw a diagram. Make an organized list that shows all the possibilities. You can make a table or a chart or you can work backwards. Once you understand what the problem is, if you are stumped or stop, set the problem aside for a while, your subconscious mind may keep working on it. So, po pwedeng huminto ka muna, huwag piliten kung hindi pa kaya, magpahinga ng konti, and then balikan muna lang uli yung problem na yon. And then, moving on to think about other things may help you stay relaxed, flexible, and creative rather than becoming tense frustrated and forced in your efforts to solve the problem. So, kung minsan, nanggigigil tayo, pinipilit nating mag-solve ng problem, so you have to pause for a while, magpahinga muna, or sometimes, gumawa muna ng iba, and then, you go back to the problem. And then, number three, carry out the plan. So, in carrying out the plan, you have to work out the plan. Once you have an idea for a new approach, Jot it down immediately. So, dapat sinusulat. When you have time, try it out and see if it leads to a solution. If the plan does not seem to be working, then start over and try another approach. So, po pwede kang gumawa ng ibang solution. You can have alternative solutions. Often, the first approach does not work. Do not worry. Just because an approach does not work. If does not mean you did it wrong, you actually accomplish something knowing a way it does not work is part of the process of elimination. So, pag yung nakita mong solution ay hindi feasible, so think of another solution. Baka sakaling hindi mag-work yung una mong ginawa. And letter C, once you have thought about a problem or returned it, 
to it enough times, you will often have a flash of insight, a new idea to try or a new perspective on how to approach solving the problem. Remember, the key is to keep trying until something works. So, sabi nga ay, try and try until you succeed. Next one is reviewing the solution. So, reviewing the solution is the verification process or you have to look back at your solution. If you miss something or you miscalculated all the uh, computations, so you have to look back at your solution. Remember to ensure that the solution is consistent with the facts of the problem. Interpret the solution in the context of the problem and ask yourself or reflect whether there are generalizations of the solution that could apply to other problems. And you have to ask question. Did you answer the question? Because sometimes we find solution which is not actually the answer to the question. So, meron tayong solution, minsan hindi naman nasasagot ng tama. Yung sinagot mo, hindi yun yung tamang sagot. So, pwede rin nating tanungin, is there another way of doing the problem which may be simpler? So, meron pang mas madaling solution? Or, can the problem or method be generalized so as to be useful for future problems? So, pwede ba tayong mag-draw ng generalization dun sa solution na yun para magamit natin sa mga susunod pa nating mathematical problems? So, those are different strategies or methods uh, proposed by Polya, George Polya in solving mathematical problems. I will give you an example of a problem using the Polya's four-step problem-solving strategies. So here it is. So for example, John can answer false in the first two questions. Here is a sample problem using Polya's four-step problem-solving strategies. This is a problem of arranging the answers into a sequence. John must arrange the two falses and three truths into a series of five. So there are five questions and two of those are false and three of those are true. So how can you arrange that without repetition of answers? An organized list must ensure that each of the different orders will be listed only once. So we can see there are 10 answers without repetition. So we have first F, F, T, 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 F, T, F, T, T, up to T, 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 F, F. So we have 10 uh, sequences okay as we can see the list considered all the possibilities and has no duplicate thus there are 10 different ways in which John can answer the quiz with two false and three true another example a pants and a shirt together cost 2,500 pesos the pants cost 1,500 more than a shirt what is the cost of the pants so, kung ang kabuang halaga ng binili ay 2,500, yung daw pants ay mas mahal na 1,500 kaysa dun sa t-shirt. So, using the Polya's 4-step uh, problem solving, so ano ang pwede natin maging conclusion dyan? So, we can solve it backwards. If the pants cost uh, uh, 1,500 plus the cost of the shirt, so... Uh, the shirt is represented by letter S or the unknown, unknown amount. And uh, the pants is the cost of the shirt plus 1,500 pesos. And the total of all the purchases is 2,500. So we can now solve S plus S plus 1,500 equals 2,500. So combining the 2S, two 2S S, two S equals 2,500 and then transposing 1,500 to the right of the equation, then we have 2s equals 1,000, and 1,000 divided by 2 is equal to 500. Thus, the shirt cost 500, and while the pants cost uh, 500 plus 1,500 is equal to 2,000 pesos. Then, review the solution. If... Uh, uh, if the amount uh, suffice for the cost of the pants and cost of the shirt. So, kung tama naman yung sagot, so, ibig sabihin, tama yung solution mo. 
Then another is the mathematical problems involving patterns. So, meron tayo dito na tinatawag na sequence. Kasi patterns, also sequence, it is an ordered list of numbers. Terms of the sequence are the numbers separated by comma. The three dots indicate that the sequence continues beyond the last written term. A sub n is used to designate the nth term of a sequence. So, we have uh, one example here. An illustrative example, consider the sequence 10, 10, 12, 16, 22, 30, and so on. So, we can see na meron dalawang 10, then 12, 16. So, makikita mo uh, kung if you will analyze, or if, you will, if you will examine the numbers, so between 10 and 10, there is no difference, di ba? So, therefore, the difference between the first and the second uh, number is zero but the difference between the second and the third is two between the third and the fourth is four and then between 16 and 22 is six then 22 to 30 is eight so therefore there is a sequence that between these numbers are even numbers starting from zero zero two four six eight and what's the next after 30 so, 30 plus 10 is equal to 40. So, you can also solve that using the difference table. So, makikita natin dyan kung ano yung mga difference niya. So, ayan, 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. And the difference between these even numbers is 2. So, 2 lang siya. Okay? The second difference table shows that each successive term in first difference table is greater than the preceding term by 2. So, ayan na. Okay? Ayan. So, ang sagot ay 40. So, in recreational mathematics naman, so, meron tayong mga uh, sometimes sa mga jaryo, sa mga newspaper, meron doon mga recreational mathematics like the Sudoku. Recreational mathematics refers to mathematical puzzles and mathematical games. So, yung uh, rubric uh, puzzle, yung mga binubuo natin na may kulay-kulay, yun ay tinatawag din na recreational mathematics. Yung Sudoku is also a recreational mathematics. Recreational mathematics includes uh, logic puzzles that requires deductive reasoning. But not all problems in this field require a knowledge of advanced mathematics. Kung isa, kailangan lang din talaga natin ng skills. Maraming magagaling sa mga rubrics, uh, sa mga magic squares, uh, sa mga uh, sa sudoku. So, maraming ganun. Sa chess, dama. So, yun. Those are examples of recreational mathematics because you are trying to find the answers for the blanks or for the unknown parts or unknown cube. And the best example of recreational mathematics is the Sudoku. Uh, Sudoku is a deductive reasoning number placement puzzle. The objective is to fill all empty squares so that the counting numbers appear exactly once in each row, each column, and each of the regions. And then uh, here, uh, it is uh, you are tasked to solve the following 6x6 uh, six six mini Sudoku puzzle. So that's all for uh, problem solving and I hope you understand our lesson for today.